What is up you guys? I am officially back as of tomorrow, which is the 30th. So basically it'll be the 29th for you guys in America and everybody that's a day behind. But as of this video right now, uh, I'm going to be briefly just explaining what's been going on for the past month. Uh, as I told you guys uh, prior to me actually doing this, I was going to be away for three months, but I could not see myself going for three months because after a month I ended up putting on my community I ended up putting on my community tab uh, that I was bored and that I would come back earlier. To say the least, I don't think anything's going to change. I should I should just talk about this at the very end, but I'm just going to put it now. I don't expect anything to change when I come back. My view counts, the ratings, streams, like everything that I did beforehand, I don't expect to change. I don't expect, you know, more of you guys to come in. I don't expect less people to come in. Everything's random. I'm just, I can't anticipate anything, so... We'll put that out of the way. But yeah, getting straight into it. Uh, I'm not going to list off everything that... I, I'm not going to, like, number down everything that has happened. I'm just going to say it all in one go. And, like, hopefully it's, you know, fluid enough. But yeah, as you guys will know, my last video and stream were around September 20th? Maybe? August? I don't even remember when I fucking uploaded it, to be completely honest. If I can, I'll put it somewhere on the screen right now. But that was the last time I uploaded, and the last time I streamed, uh, funnily enough, I actually privated the, the stream. Haven't deleted it, but um, I'll, I'll just put it back up anyways, because why the fuck not? But yeah, uh, those are still up there, and I've just been gone ever since, because I just needed a break from YouTube. Obviously for the past month, I'm going to be as solid as I can right now. The only reason why I wanted to take the month off was to catch up on university work. That's it. That could be the end of the video right there, but I want to talk about some other stuff because it's crucial. All that boring stuff is out of the way, jumping on to the actual stuff. So one tragic thing happened, and this happened on a Friday. I don't remember if it was last month on a Friday, like the late, like the late, late Fridays of the month. And it happened around 2.47 in the morning, and one of my parents walked in and told me that my grandfather passed away. Now, I'm not going to say which which side it was from, you know, my mom, my dad. I'm just going to say one of my grandfathers passed away. And it was one of my parents that walked in. And I think following that same day in the morning, um, it, it felt like it, the atmosphere changed because we didn't expect it to happen, but it happened. Uh, this grandfather of mine was battling cancer for a few years, actually, and he was, he was battling it, like, he was... My grandfather was doing a good job fighting the fuck out of it. But unfortunately, his time came. We had to do all that all that funeral stuff, that the planning of it and then burying it. I don't want to jump into it because I just don't want to like vibe down the video. I kind of want to like keep it mid-tone, not hyper, not hyper. What the fuck's wrong with me? I don't want to keep it too light, but too dark as well. I just want to keep it midway. So I'm going to try and be careful with my words. But yeah, uh, we had the funeral, we went there, we did what we had to do, and then we went back home. And ever since then, actually, I've seen a lot more family members that I haven't seen in like 10 years, I swear. And it, was, it it's been fun, like obviously that aspect, not my grandfather passing away. But every once in a while, I go there and I obviously visit him. Uh, one thing that hits me even deeper is that if you guys know who Hammy is, one of my childhood friends, uh, he passed away in 2017 and just happened to be in the same cemetery as my grandfather. So now I can basically walk a few yards left and right and think of it this way, my grandfather or my grandfather's here and then a column of gravestones and then Hammy is on that side. So basically they're opposite sides of each other. But yeah, that out of the way, I just, I don't want to jump more into it. Something else that happened actually that does not correlate whatsoever, but it happened at the same time and it insulted the fuck out of me. Uh, somebody who was big in the community, the Dying Light community, obviously, not going to say their name because I just, not that I don't like them, I, I actually like the person, you know, a lot because of, you know, their streams, their videos, why not. And they've been invited to the preview event for Dying Light too, by the way. But yeah, uh, I don't, I don't, it's not like I like the, the person, it's just the fact that they said it. I'm going to jump into it, but basically they called me a moron. 
it was in a Discord group chat, and I wasn't in it, but it was between one of my friends and the, the person I'm referring to. They were talking about modding and shit, and then the person mentioned my... No, my friend mentioned me, and then the person said my name. And that, it felt like an insult. I felt violated, because I don't mod. Now, if you guys do know, I did make a Tauntaun Chainsaw video where I basically downloaded one of his mods and then used them for a video for a laugh. After that, I basically uninstalled Dying Light and reinstalled it again clean. And then I played properly ever since. And now that I have my gaming PC, I have no reason to cheat whatsoever. I don't even have a dev menu, so whoever the fuck told, told everyone that I'm a modder, watch my damn streams. Watch me, like, do, do you see me cheating? Maybe I use, like, a few exploits here and there, but I don't mod. I don't. Plus, I, I just don't have that, that integrity anymore. I just don't care. But, yeah, obviously, uh, to the person that said it, I don't hate them. You know, they're entitled to, to their opinion. I I did mod back in, back a little bit, but I don't anymore. It wasn't even major mod. It was, like, minor. But anyway, if, even if I want something now, I'll basically just ask a friend if they could drop me something early. If they don't have it, fair enough, I'll wait. But yeah, with that out of the way, uh, there's other stuff happening that I can't think of straight off the bat. Uh, one thing that's happening is Dying Light 2... Not the Dying Light 2, fuck. Well, that's happening, but the Dying Light Halloween event. I have no idea when it's beginning, and it's currently the 26th of October. I was basically meant to record this almost a week ago on the 20th. I did, so basically from the 20th until now, I've been recording this video straight up, but I keep screwing up my words. So this is probably and hopefully the last time I record this. But yeah, obviously that the Halloween event is coming. Uh, there's a bunch of decorations with the uh, with the new update that just dropped. As well as that, uh, Techland are now working on a, I don't even want to say 60 FPS patch, but they're working on a next gen patch for uh, PlayStation 5 slash Xbox Series X slash S, I think, users. So basically, if you own a PlayStation 5 or the new Xbox, you'll basically be able to have uh, access to the new patch. I don't know if it's going to be for PS4 players. No, it's, gonna, no, it's the next-gen patch. What the fuck am I on about? But yeah, as well as that, other irrelevant stuff is happening, like um, the Halloween, Halloween event for Call of Duty. It has nothing to do with Dying Light, but... For the past month, I've just been jamming it to Call of Duty because I haven't tried to play DL. Uh, Content-wise, I don't plan on changing my content. Dying Light is going to still remain like the top tier thing because I grew my channel off of it. I want to put this out there right now. I am not a Dying Light channel. I don't... I'm like... I don't even consider myself a Dying Light channel. Nobody considers me one. I don't know why. Like, even the top dogs of the, of the community don't consider me a Dying Light YouTuber. Even though, like, 90% of my content is dying, right? But, fuck yes. Uh, as with that, uh, some people have been telling me to, like, go family-friendly or whatever. The only thing I will do that's like that is just cut down on my swearing. Because so I will admit, I am kind of cussy, sweary, whatever the hell you want to say. It. I'm not going to become family-friendly. It's just cringe. I'm not going to become an, the Nick A30 of dying, right? Because I like the guy. I don't know. I mean, I keep referencing too many people. But, yeah, uh... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry if I toned down a lot, toned up a lot. I don't even know what's going on anymore with how I'm making these videos. But yeah, uh, just expect me to come back on the 30th, which is Australian, not American time, which kind of fucks everything up. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I was going to say leave a like, but this is just more of a serious video. Do it if you want. Comment what you guys think about all of this. Um, subscribe if you want. Uh, I've noticed a lot recently that I've gained like 5 to 10 subs even though I've been like, inactive as hell. Funny thing is, Mike's been a lot more active than me, but I think he's just less likable than I am, unless it's the other way around and you guys just secretly like him more. I don't know, I think it's kind of funny to mention it. But yeah, shout out to all the recent subscribers. I'm on OBS right now and it says Maria Powers, Crane the Flock Goblin, and Miss Hollow Eve. So if you guys are watching this video, shout out to you. You just are like the... the the last three people that have subscribed. So yeah, stay safe and stay human.